What's up guys, it's Matt. Today I thought I'd bring you guys a little review. And in fact, we're gonna do a full review of the Samsung Gear 360. This is the brand new 2017 edition of it. It's a 360 camera. It's got some cool features. It's a really neat camera, but it's also got some not so cool things about it. And I'm gonna tell you all about that right now. Let's do it. So the Samsung Gear 360 camera is coming in right at 230 bucks, and straight out of the box the first thing you'll notice is this cool little soft bag it comes with it, a little carrying case and it's definitely good to have because the top of this thing is pretty much all glass with lenses around it so it's great to have this little thing for transporting it. And then it comes with this little lanyard that I've already attached to my camera, it's a little strap and at the end of it you got this rubber ring and uh, this is a cool little thing to hold on to but also it goes on the bottom of your camera fits right on the bottom of your camera and helps it stand up so you don't really need a tripod if you want to just stand it up somewhere um, this does have a quarter inch standard tripod connection at the bottom of this thing but uh, if you don't have a tripod it's great to have this little rubber ring i like to use it and it's a pretty simple setup on this guy uh, on the side of this thing you've got two buttons here one is a menu button and one is a power button and the menu button also is a connection button so you can connect to your phone which was really easy to do, connected to my phone really easily. And then on the front, you've got just the record button, or it's a take a picture button if you've got it on picture mode. And then you've got your little display here that shows you, you know, how much time you have left, things like that. So pretty simple setup, uh, really easy to use, really um, minimalistic camera right here. And to give you an idea of the size of this thing, it's right in between the size of a GoPro Hero 3 camera and a can of Cherry 7-Up, about four inches tall. So now that we've got a look at it, let's go ahead and play with it. The first thing you're probably going to want to do is get the app on your phone. I'm using a Samsung Galaxy S7. Um, I know these things come with an S8, so they're probably better on the S8. And it may be why I have some problems that I'm going to explain to you in just a moment. But here's what you're going to do. You're going to get the app, the Samsung Gear 360 app. And uh, it works pretty easy so far. We're going to go ahead and look at the camera, see if we can control it here. As you can see, it's pretty easy to control. You can just hit this record button. You can look around while you're doing it. You got this circular view from the lenses and it looks like it's already stitched together, but it's really not when it's filming. It's filming two separate videos, basically, that it's gonna put side by side and spherical images. But it works well. You can take pictures and take video all with the control of your phone. Works pretty good. Now let's go to the gallery and see what it takes to save a video. And here in the gallery, we can see all of our 360 videos and pictures, and it's pretty easy to save them. Um, you just go ahead, and when you hit the save button, it's gonna go ahead and stitch it together for you, which is fantastic. It's gonna turn it into the full 360 video or picture that you want. Um, but the first thing I'm noticing here is, if you are just gonna go ahead and save and stitch together a 360 video that's a minute or two long, works pretty well. But as soon as you do one that is more than a couple minutes long, it's gonna tell you that your memory card doesn't have room, even if it does. I've got 30 gigs available on here. Um, this video probably isn't even one gig. And in fact, I've tried to download, you know, 20 videos that are a minute long and it works, but won't get one that's four minutes long. So it doesn't make sense. It's obviously a glitch, it's obviously a problem. Um, I have noticed that it's if it's right around two to three minutes, if you keep trying, eventually it may work. But if it's more than that, uh, you can try all day and it probably will never work. It'll just keep telling you that there's not enough storage room. So pretty much right away, I'm thinking my solution is gonna be to have to do this with the app on the PC and let the computer do it. But before I do that, let's try out the live streaming function on this. Now you've got three options here, YouTube, Facebook, and this Samsung VR. I haven't tried the Samsung VR because I don't know where your video goes and if anybody will even see it. I may look into that later. But if I try YouTube here, um, we've got problems already. It tells me that I need to sign into my YouTube account. Um, I'm signed in, as you can see here. And it also tells me that I'm already enabled to live stream. And uh, go back, try it again. Just keeps telling me I need to sign in over and over and over. I've tried this a zillion times and I can't seem to figure out how to live stream to YouTube. Now let's try Facebook. Uh, if you live stream to Facebook, it'll actually look like it's working. Your time is ticking, it's showing that you're live, but you'll never see any comments, you'll never see any likes, you'll never see anything happen. And then when you go to Facebook and look, there's no video there. It looks like it's working, but for me at least, it's not working at all. 
So no live streaming for me, at least not yet. So now let's put some video on the PC and see if we can just make a video to upload. Now if you're like me, what you're going to do is look in your quick start guide in your instruction manual and find out what app do you need to get on the PC. And you're going to find out that Samsung has one and it's called Action Director 360. And I went to Google, searched it up, found the app, downloaded it, and the first problem arises when it asks for a key. Now it tells me that my key, my product key, is in my instruction manual on a little sticker. After searching vigorously and thoroughly, I found no sticker. And then I discovered that a lot of other people didn't have a sticker either, and some people even got stickers that just you couldn't read the numbers on it. Luckily, Samsung realizes this is a big problem, and they're already prepared when you call them. What I did was I called the Samsung support, and they were able to give me a new network key, reset my key or whatever, and give me a new network key that did work, and it only took about five minutes of them helping me. It was a pretty simple procedure. Kind of sucked that I had to wait and figure that out myself, but it did work eventually. But once I put my videos into the software and you'll see here when you, as soon as you put it in it's going to just go ahead and start stitching automatically as it finishes stitching each video I'm looking like this we've got all this black and these weird lines I mean I can't even see the video at all I can hear the audio but I can't see the video at all and after retrying a few times I started searching online I found a lot of people are having this and specifically with the 2017 version of the 360 camera Finally, on a forum, on a Samsung uh, forum here, I found the answer. Somebody posted there's a new version of this app. Now, they don't tell you this in the instruction manual. They don't tell you anywhere when you go to download the app that there is another app, a version 2, that is for, really for this 2017 version of this camera and the original. It works on both, apparently. Uh, but you're going to need this. The original app does not work with the new cameras. Okay, so I'm going to delete the old app. I'm going to download the new app now. As I put my video on here, it seems to work great. And as you'll see, when you first put it on there, it's just the two spherical videos, and it's stitching it together into one 360 video. And it worked this time. Okay, now let's move these videos over to Adobe Premiere Pro so I can edit a video together. Oh, another problem I see. Adobe Premiere Pro does not recognize the files. I don't see anybody else online really having this problem. Everybody else seems to say that Adobe Premiere Pro, specifically with the older version of the 360 camera, has no problem editing these videos. I don't know why I'm having this problem, but I tried this over and over, um, and anything that's been stitched together by this Samsung app, this version two of the Samsung app, is not recognized by Adobe Premiere Pro. Now I'm gonna spare you all the digging and searching and testing that I did to try to fix all these problems to finally be able to edit a video, and I'll tell you that I was able to eventually edit a video in Premiere Pro and upload to YouTube in 360. And the only way I found to do it was when I'm filming with the camera, each clip needs to be under a minute, minute and a half. And so I filmed a bunch of clips, short clips, so that my phone, the app on my phone, was able to uh, save and stitch together on my phone without any problems or errors. And then I plugged my phone into my PC and saved those stitched files to the PC and put those into Premiere Pro. And they worked. They recognized them. And I was able to make a video. But this was the only way I was able to make a video. So I'm not really prepared to tell you that this camera sucks. It really doesn't. It actually, the quality is really good, especially in the pictures. The videos aren't bad, but the pictures are, are fantastic quality for a camera like this. Um, this is a 4K camera, but you gotta think that those 4Ks, those pixels are spread out, in, you know, a spherical all around you. So that what you're seeing directly in front of you is probably gonna end up being like 480. It's not that great. Uh, specifically in a video but this is pretty much as good as it get for a camera at least in this price range so it really ain't that bad and I am having fun using it so it really is not a camera that I would say sucks it just has some software issues that need to be fixed hopefully really soon so there you guys have it the 2017 version of the gear 360 camera from Samsung and even with all the software issues I'm still having a lot of fun with this thing it's a really cool camera I love the VR stuff and putting on the goggles and watching videos that I'm creating. Um, I love the idea of being able to do it live and hopefully all the software issues gets worked out eventually from Samsung. I'm really keeping my fingers crossed that they take care of us on this one. So hopefully we'll keep up on that and to let you guys know, I'll do an update if you know things do get better. Um, subscribe and keep an eye on my channel because I will be putting out some more 360 stuff because I'm still doing what I can with it for now. So keep an eye on that and we'll see you guys all next time. Peace.
be my friend, yeah